What's up guys, Polly Popo here, and I want to show you a really cool thing to do to find a perfect sound. Okay, let's say you're dealing with Mellotron, and you just turn on your NPCs, your first sound, and it sounds like this, right? And you're like, well, okay, how am I going to know if that's a good sound or not? The best way to find out if a sound is good for you or not is to hear it in a little melody. So, first thing I want you to do is take your bars and turn them to four okay we'll just touch the bar and then turn it to four now under track we're on the plug of course because we're using Mellotron and we're gonna hit the pencil under track and now what we're gonna do is hit the generate random events leave it at melodic events pattern size 4 note link 16 everything is cool you can go up here C2 to C4 legato um, I'm gonna leave all that good and I'm gonna say apply and do it so what that did is when you hit this hashtag right here it prints random notes for you it's hence the name ra uh, random generator you hit pencil generate random events and it'll give you that so now when we hit play it gives us some whack melody right what's cool about this is now we can go through any sound we want and hear what it is now we know in Mellotron we're only limited there's only so many sounds in each one of these plugins and we know that we can't put our own sounds in them that's why I want to show you how to make your own sounds um, so what we're gonna do is hit menu and program edit and while it's playing, we're going to edit the sounds, okay? We're just going to change it until it sounds good. First thing I'm going to do is add release. It already sounds better. Okay, we're not going to use that melody, okay? I'm trying to get to where you can see the sound sounds good. And once you got your sound dialed in, let's see, where's this delay at? Now we got a real crazy sound, right? And let's say you spent about five or ten minutes sitting in there. The cutoff's really cool. It's a real cool sound. So if you want to save that sound, you just hit this. And what I'm going to do is I've saved some of these. And if you save these here, they'll automatically save to a Mellotron folder in your internal drive, which is really, really cool. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and just hit save. Now, if I wanted to rename, that's my sound now. If you want to rename it, you just use your defaults and name on it. Say, this is my synth, my strings. And now forever and always, my strings will be in here. I got soft strings and then strings. We just made these. So that's what's really cool about it. Now we can say we made our own sound and it's always there. So you can turn off your MPC and then as soon as we turn it back on and I got it battery life and everything I've noticed that if you're under halfway battery life you really don't want to do that um, it might not save but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway so let's hurry up here in real time of course come on baby get this thing going and I'll pull up that same plugin in Mellotron. Mellotron, program edit. We're gonna look for strings because that's what we named it. LNLP. There it is. Right there. That's that wax sound that we had, and we still have the melody. No, perfect because we don't want the melody. So other than that guys, I just wanted to show you a cool way 
Now you can sit here and make a nice little It's just dope, and it sounds really, really good. Right on? I think it came up pretty good. My own sounds in the Mellotron, and I can do that over and over and over until I make about 50 or 60 of them. Now, as far as going over and seeing your sounds that you make, this is what I want to cover in my next video. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel this way you can see this, because this is going to be really, really what you... Check this out. Okay, so we've all seen our screen like this, right? Where you have the NPC screen and you hit a menu and you go to content, you hit drums, and the sounds that you hover over whenever you make a drum program and you save it, it, it doesn't preview. You know what I mean? So that's what I want to go over in the next video. How to get your sounds to preview, how to get your instruments. How do you get them to do that when you hover over them so that whenever you to get your preview sounds? And I know how to do it, and that's what we're going to do in the next one. So check it out, guys.